Hey everybody, today's video is about changing the rear diff or differential fluid, the gear oil on the 2020 through 2022 Shelby GT500. First of all, we're going to start out by looking at the uh, workshop manual and what that says about this project. Voice over time, this is the information from the workshop manual. Uh, there's some conflicting information in there. One section says to refill it within nine millimeters of the fill port. Uh, another one says fill it to nine millimeters from the fill port. Uh, within could be up to the port and down to nine millimeters. Um, it also talks about uh, using the uh, Ford Electronic uh, diagnostic tool there to turn on the uh, rear diff cooling pump to circulate the fluid. Um, I chose to just measure the exact amount that came out and replace with the exact amount. If you end up over servicing the uh, rear diff, the fluid can end up puking out or coming out the vent, uh, especially when it gets hot at the track. Getting the uh, fill port open right here, this guy, um, this cooler line kind of interferes, but uh, at a slight angle, you can get a three, three eighths inch uh, ratchet in there. I tried some extensions back through here, that didn't work. Uh, this, uh, this right here is interfering with that. So just put your uh, ratchet right on there at a slight angle and you can get that open. Got the fill port open, nothing came out, so it wasn't overfilled. Um, if you're wondering about this uh, exhaust wrap, it's a mod I did because I tracked this car quite a bit. Um, this area doesn't have any heat shielding and it just, I think, helps with uh, temps in the uh, rear diff here. But I just wrapped uh, where, where the heat shielding stops here and ended up back here just over the diff and uh, half shafts. Next up, gonna take this uh, clip out here. It's like a little C-clip. And I'm going to use both hands to do that, so I'm not going to film it, but take the clip out, and then this uh, cooler line is supposed to just slide out. Be ready to capture fluid. I've got uh, some Tupperware here with some uh, amounts, so I'm going to measure exactly how much comes out. A little wiggle, and this slides right out aft towards the trunk. Um, I'm expecting somewhere around 54 ounces reading around online. Um, so I've got this marked, and... Uh, it's slowing down, just gonna let it drain for a while because it's thicker gear lube. This is the fill plug. We're taking a look at it under a bright light here. I've wiped it. There's a little bit of sludge there, but uh, no big metal chunks. Um, of course, I'm underneath the bright uh, LED light, so you're gonna see some reflective stuff in there, but uh, yeah, I think that's all considered normal, normal. A handful of minutes of draining and it's down to just drips. I'll get this on a level surface and uh, check the exact amount. Got to kind of pull this back. There's resistance with all the lines up here. Pull this back, get it in there, wiggle, 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 get it uh, all the way fully seated and then put that clamp, uh, I think it's a C-clamp or something like that, put that back in there. I got this guy at uh, O'Reilly's. I've had one that I use with my boat, but I want a clean one. This works on either a quart or a gallon, but it's a hand pump to uh, pump the gear lube uh, up into the diff. Got the uh, little clip back in position. I uh, got the far side, that uh, other side, that you know, the driver side in, and then I used uh, Neil nose pliers to uh, pull the other side and got it clipped in. Nice and locked in there. Time to talk fluids, amounts, and some public math. Um, so I measured what I took out. I got 56 fluid ounces out of my uh, rear diff. Um, these are one quart bottles, 32 ounces per quart, so this is 64. This is the friction modifier, comes in a four ounce uh, little uh, bottle. So all combined, 64 and four is 68 ounces. So with these cars, the diff with the diff cooler, Ford capacity calls for 1.99 to 2.06 quart of the uh, gear loop. And for the friction modifier, they call for 4.0 to 4.5 fluid ounces. 
Um, so, you know, I could get into some public math percentages and try to nail this uh, exactly. Or I could just say, you know, this is uh, 1.99 to 2.06 quarts. I'll just call it 2.0 2 quarts for simplicity. Um, Ford calls for 4 to 4.5. I'm just going to say 4 on that. I'm going to take 2 ounces, which is a quarter cup. Quarter cup is, a, is 2 ounces. You can't really, this is not a clear bottle, so you can't pour it. There's no half markings. I'm going to pour half of this bottle on each one of these, measured it out. And when I pump in the fluid using the uh, hand pump, I should have 12 ounces left out of the total of 68. 68 minus 56, which I pulled out, will be uh, 12 ounces left. Putting the fill tube in the port in the diff, if you angle it towards the passenger rear tire, it will stay in place. Got uh, the fluid all pumped in through the, uh, the fill hole. Ended up with exactly 12 left over. Um, there's some fluid in the pump mechanism itself, so I went just a hair below 12 and then uh, used the pump to uh, pump the remaining fluid back into the jar, just uh, pulling the intake up a little bit, the intake tube. And then uh, the output, uh, pumping it back into the jar and measured exactly 12 ounces. To finish off the project, you've got to uh, resecure the uh, fill plug, and I'll show the torque specs for that now. There is some thread locker from the uh, factory. I'm going to clean that up with a little wire brush and then put some blue thread locker on there and uh, tighten it down to uh, 25 foot pounds. All right, little info on going to tighten this uh, fill plug. Um, I got some blue Loctite on there. Ford calls for 25 foot-pounds of uh, torque on that. I can't get a torque wrench up in there due to this uh, line right here. And uh, my regular socket uh, even has a hard time getting on there. I was able to get it off with that, but tightening back up is a bit of a challenge. Uh, my solution was just to put a little extension on there, and there's stuff back here that blocks putting a socket on there. And then uh, that's a 3 8 inch extension, and I used a 10-millimeter uh, box head and I was able to go right on that square part right there and tighten it down until it felt good. Well, that's it. That's how you change the gear oil on the 2020 through 2022 Shelby GT500. Hopefully you found this informational. Thanks for watching. See you next time.